joining me today. I'm Miss Nene and welcome to Miss Nene's Art. So today I am working on a 16 by 20 inch canvas. I am going to do a very colorful pastel summer, spring, Easter-ish um, inspired painting. What I'm going to do is coat the, the canvas white and I'm going to add these very pretty pastel colors. So I have Anita's metallic paint, metallic, this is Fuchsia by Anita's. And from Deco Art, I have Baby Pink, which is a pearl metallic color. Folk Art, I have another pink, it's called Rose Shimmer. Also from Folk Art, another metallic, aquamarine. From Deco Art Pearls, Americana, bright yellow. And Anita's metallic, which is amethyst. I don't really have a set plan. I think I'm just gonna lay the white and then just do a puddle pour and blow it out or just lay the white and then just lay all the colors randomly and blow it out. Because I want to use some modeling paste to make some flowers to give it a 3D effect. But this is the first step, laying the base and the paint.
Okay, so I'm going to let this dry. And then after that, I'm going to do some 3D flowers with some modeling paste. Okay, so it is dry and it is pretty. I love the colors, the pastel colors. They are all really pretty colors. And um, some of them are metallic, but it's perfect for my plan to use to make the 3D flowers. Um, now, because I am new at modeling paste, I am by no means um, an expert. I'm going to try it with a stencil. I am gonna practice and probably do a video where I don't use stencil, just kind of freehand it. But this is what I'm gonna use, this stencil here. And I'm going to color my modeling paste with my colors I have set over here to the side. So what I'm doing right now is just trying to figure out where I'm gonna put it. I'm going to place my flower stencil. This is the modeling paste I'm using, Liquitec Basic modeling paste. Pick that up from Hobby Lobby. And the colors I'm going to be using is Arteza's Pearl Lilac, Master's Touch Violet, Arteza's Pearl Amethyst Purple, Artist Loft's Metallic Purple. Anita's Metallic Fuchsia. And Deco Art Bright Yellow. Also, I'm gonna be using Master's Touch Grass Green. Um, I did have to switch out the Deco Art Pearls Bright Yellow because when I poured it onto the modeling paste it was just oil so I had to uh, scrape that out and use Arteza's lemon yellow which you'll see here shortly so I'm just taping it to the board with my painters tape and I'm just gonna go at it so let's see together how this turns out
So as I was doing this, I was thinking, I don't even know how this is going to turn out. I mean, I'm just blending the colors where I want them to go. I'm not even certain if I'm doing it right. I mean, I've used stencil before, but I use just regular paint. And um, I did make some um, mistakes, a little mistakes, but they were very little. And um, I'll tell you what I mean in a little bit. But so I'm just spreading my colors onto my stencil and hoping and praying that when I lift it, it's not a whole hot mess. <laughs>
Okay, so I'm going to tell you what I did wrong. I mean, it's not really wrong, but what I wanted to do was have my flowers just jumping off the canvas, just like a 3D effect. And although it turned out beautiful, look at that. And you can still feel the texture. I wanted it to look like it were, they were just jumping off the canvas, like a 3D effect. And to get that um, effect, I shouldn't have scraped off so much of the... Um, the modeling paste. I should have left it piled on a little thick and then lift it. But other than that, it's still beautiful. It's still perfect. Let me know what you think in the comments below if you would try this and um, your thoughts. So thanks so much for watching me do this. This was exciting. It was fun. It was different, definitely new and I will definitely be trying it again. So don't forget to like and subscribe if you found value in this video. And until then, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.